Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Slightly different today. I've dragged her on after two years. This is Claire, everybody. Well, basically, she wouldn't come on, would you, before? Uh, no, no, I feel like I've been made to do this. <laughs> she has been made to do it, quite frankly. And the reason I've made her do it is because she's such a brilliant stylist, as everybody out there who has used her online knows. And so I really wanted you to come on so everybody can see what well, a brilliant stylist you are. Thanks for persevering, let's see. <laughs> so hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of her anyway. So today's video is a jeans video. So Claire has trawled the shops for all the best jeans that she could find. And as you can probably see between the, the height difference here, we've got five foot... Five foot seven and a UK 14. UK 14. Five foot three and a little bit, and a UK eight to ten. More like a ten, I'd say, in jeans, actually. So we're going to do a bit of a twinning video today. So we've bought all exactly the same jeans, and we're going to show you which ones work on Claire beautifully and don't work on me because of the height. Also because of body shape-wise, you're much longer in the body than me, aren't you? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I'm just talking about that. If you enjoy this video, please press that subscribe button. The more subscribers we get, the more time we can spend doing this type of thing. And if any of you are interested in booking myself or Claire, Claire spends a lot of time online, don't you? I do, I do. <laughs> Styling people all over the world. Um, I'm on there as well, so you can book either of us online and we'd love to help you out basically but should we get started let's, do, let's it. do it so we're keeping the styling really simple aren't we today because we want it to be about the jeans rather than anything else and we're just using simple tops simple jumpers that are kind of similar but maybe a little bit different just to show you how you can change the looks up so where's yours from so this is a Whistles one, um, yeah, it's 100% it's cashmere, it is a favourite of mine because I just think that this silhouette is really nice to tuck, it kind of covers your bum if you're conscious of that, Yeah. Um, it has a little side split. Which is going to make your legs look longer when you've got a side split at the side. And it's just, with cashmere often I think it looks nice in a mild colour mm -hmm. as well and I just think it looks really luxe, it washes really well. Um, and yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah it's very nice. And I am wearing the one from Reese. It's a little bit thicker than that one. That's it a little is, bit yeah. finer, isn't yeah. it? If you're worried about a jumper feeling a little bit too overwhelming on you, too big and thick and bulky, then I would go for the Whistles one. Yeah, because this is a nice slouchy one, yeah. although it's still quite fine and it's not adding any bulk anywhere. Yes. Does it? Oh my goodness, so the first thing to say is that it is a lash. <laughs> It's lashing it down with rain right now. I think we're about to be in a really big storm, so I'm sorry if it's gone dark in here. It's actually only 3.50 p.m., but it's like it's 10 o'clock yeah. out, outside. So apologies if you can hear the rain and the lighting has gone dark, but we're just gonna have to roll with it. Now in the same pair of jeans from Hush. I like them on myself. They fit well. I'm wearing them in a UK size eight. But let's just ask Claire whether she likes them. So, I really like them on you, but I feel like they look completely different. So, far too short in the rise. So, my belly button is here. They're finishing there, and I think generally they make me look wider because I'm not showing, you know, they're not sitting high enough. So, yeah. And then also, they're just, there's too much fabric here. Yeah. So just Although they're a kind of relaxed style, they just feel and I'm flattering relaxed yeah, style, style. Um, where I don't know if it's because I've got a I've got the size 8 on so they're actually coming tighter yes all over yeah. where you went size up and I've got out of size down type of thing okay there we go my belly bottom <laughs> my belly bottom <laughs> my belly bottom my belly button is a lot closer to the rise of the jean where Mrs. long body here yeah i am quite long here I you're think, really yeah. long aren't you so it means a mid rise is really quite low on her and when you've got a mid rise that is too low and it's hitting your widest part it's going to make you feel a lot wider where mine is closer to where my waistline is and therefore fits a little bit better 
So if you're shorter bodied or just sort of equally proportioned, then these are a great one. But if you're long tall Sally like she is <laughs> with, the, with the long body, then less so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So we'd say on these hush ones, size down rather than sizing up. But generally a really nice jean. These ones are Marks and Spencers and they're from the autograph range. Which so. is their slightly nicer range in Marks and Spencers. Now Marks and Spencers you can get all over the world. And using our new linking system, there's only one link for the US and one link for the UK. If you click on that link, it will take you to a board with all of these items, that everything that we've shown today, all in picture format. And you can just click on whatever you like and it will take you to the shop so you can purchase it. But they are available internationally, okay? Again, really kind of soft, comfortable denim with a little bit of stretch. Higher waisted. <laughs> Then the last ones higher waisted yeah so these ones are my belly buttons here so it's kind of an inch or an inch and a half it's, higher oh funny because it's right on my belly button okay yeah so it shows that you've got a longer torso yeah. than i have and the blouse is also from marks and spencer the quality it's a kind of sand wash silk so it drapes really nicely and then it's got these jersey kind of rib cuffs which are great for pulling the sleeves up and keeping them up and also the jersey is here too so a little kind of so it's kind of, locks, yes, right? exactly. Yeah. So when you've got a bit of silk and a bit of jersey together, it kind of enables you to either elevate it or to wear it in a more pared down way, doesn't yeah. it? It gives you that option. Nice. It's like the silk camis. Yes, yeah, from the jersey back. Yeah, from Reese, because that does the same. So, and when Claire and I are styling clients kind of on a daily basis, whenever we find something like this, we always pin it for each other to say, clients are going to look really good in this. Yeah, because it's that's a one of those... lovely neckline, yeah. the sleeves are just really nice, and it is machine washable. So don't be put off by the silk, it just feels really premium. And I'm wearing a mango jumper. This jumper is particularly good because it's got the extra rims here on the shoulders, which then help to balance out my hips. However, I would say it's quite short. Can you see that? So it could be cropped on some people. Yeah. So I think... <laughs> It was like a little, yeah, was a little, little boob <laughs> A little indecent. Uh, a little indecent on, on, on Claire because she's got a longer body. But generally speaking, if we talk about body shape for a second, we're both slightly heavier on our hip area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hip and bum. Hip and bum. And Claire always likes to go upper size in jeans, don't you? Well, yeah, I guess not really upper size, but yeah. I'm kind of between a 12 and a 14 because my waist is quite small but my hips are a good 14 so but I would always err on the larger side I think where funny enough I would always go yeah. on the lower side because I like it when they fit tight on my waist and I often find that even though I've got the slightly bigger thighs they stretch around the thigh yes. area but yeah. that just shows you it's just down to a comfort thing and sometimes you just I have to so, yeah. trawl through a whole load to get it right you yeah. know I just quite like I'm quite a casual girl. I quite like things quite loose and comfy and, you know. Where I think probably because I'm shorter, I prefer them to follow yes. my figure a little yeah. bit. Otherwise, I feel really drowned. Oh, I can get away with it. You can get Absolutely. away with it, yeah. yeah. Go on. So these ones are from Mango. They're that straight leg that's on trend right now. But they've got this lovely split, which kind of opens out into a little flare. And it makes them really easy to style with with footwear, with trainers like Melissa's got on today, or with a boot, I mean... Yeah, they are really versatile between the two, aren't they? They are really, yeah. yeah. Where um, often when you have like a wide leg, you can't pair it with a nicer, finer boot, can you? It just kind of looks a little bit wrong. It where, can be tricky. Yeah, where this seems to work well with both. The colour I think was good on these. The colour is really good. Um, I should mention that the length that is slightly short on, on myself probably would be better um, maybe with a trainer like this. But just to show you that you you know they do look really good with the boots as well. Definitely. These are described on the website website as a low rise. Low rise, yeah. So yeah. if I if I show you where they're coming to on me, they're about yes. there. Flashy tummy. There we go. Get it out. <laughs> Get it all out! <laughs> but actually, I, I wouldn't wear 
are a low rise and no. for me these are not low rise they're kind of a mid to high I still feel like I'm held in here they yeah feel me very comfortable. too they're nice and high at the back yeah and they fit um, nicely at the back at that bit as yes, well yes they're not gaping no which is well really often good. I don't because because we're a little bit hiccupier we both have that same problem yeah. don't we where they gape at the back but they actually feel really comfy I noticed how soft they were when I just put them on yeah, yeah. which is also I think something nice to look for in a wide leg or a flare it has that bit of drape so it hangs nice so yeah we we rate these jeans yes that's really ones. comfy just yep. a little bit of stretch not too much yep. um yeah, great let's, jeans. Let's try the next pair on. Okay, so jewellery wise today, Claire thought it would be great to introduce you to a new brand, and I totally agree. So these are from Majuri. Majuri. And the good thing about Majuri is that there is quite a differentiation with their price points. So there is something for everybody yeah. with their jewellery. And we've picked these particular pieces today because we really like them. We really like that, how it creates a really nice V. So if you're bigger busted and you need that line coming down, then that one is really good. And these two in combination we thought looked really nice as well because you've obviously got the finer, more dainty look but when you combine it with a chunkier look like that it just keeps it a little bit more it's modern more modern yeah, yeah it looks a little bit cooler yeah i think yeah, and it's exactly. more of a statement as well it makes you know it you stands out it. yeah because yeah. if i was to if i pop those back in now there you go and so my bust is also going to look bigger. Did you yeah, see instantly yeah. how that happened? I feel like I'm sticking it out. <laughs> it's just a focus point, <laughs> isn't it, as well? Yeah. Like, you know, they're just naked without it. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah, so Majora is who we're wearing today and everything will be like. Okay, so back again with a mom jean on. These are the mom jeans from Mango this time in a kind of light stone wash that... I know you're not so sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just saying, for me, the light stone wash, I feel a lot hippier where you were saying, oh, I think they look nice on you. Yeah. But it's again, it's just how you feel in something, isn't it? And I think the lighter, it just feels hippier. But I can see that they look okay. And I um, think for me as well, I like light like colours, especially in winter, because sometimes dark colours all look a bit heavy. I think my skin tone, light is better. And yeah, definitely. This dude is quite easy to... You know, if you're worried about wearing white or cream, then it kind of... A good midway point. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Talking about okay. colours as well, can you see how Claire's got the white t-shirt showing here? I've got the white showing here. It makes a huge difference. Let's just hide. It, re it really does. Let's just hide that. Especially if there's sort of the beiges. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. There we go. So, look at the difference there. Because the beige is nice, but it's almost quite similar to my skin tone so just yeah. that little flash and it makes it an outfit look more casual when you do that as well sometimes just if a color is not working so well for you it's just a good tip to try just add a little touch of white exactly now we were just talking about who we think these jeans are going to be good for and we are thinking definitely with a bit of curve so a pear shaped a hourglass shape fantastic so that's where you're heavier and curvier around your thigh areas but if you're straight up and straight down so sort of more of an apple shape and you've got thin legs here they're not going to be good for you are they they're just harder because normally they're kind of a little bit more curved through the thigh and yeah. it just adds a little bit of extra like the wrong part yeah um, almost when you've got slender legs um and it's almost like if your if your waist area here is the widest part then you add in a curvy jean you're going to make yourself look very block like yeah. all the way down so mom jeans are more for the curvier shape rather than straight up and straight down Okay. And also they tend to be smaller on the waist, which for us is good. Yes. But again, you know, yeah. if you are kind of straighter there, then it's they're just going to be uncomfortable. I think yes. These jeans in particular have no stretch. Yeah. No, they do I'm, feel quite soft. I'm very aware that my bum's just facing the camera. So <laughs> can I just quickly, quickly show them the waist bit? So uh, I don't know if you can see that up there, but they fit a smaller waist absolutely perfectly. Yeah. And exactly what Claire was just saying, if you're broader around the waist area, they're not going to work for you. But 
another good find Claire. A boot twice. Um, I'm just wearing a boot from H&M. Yours are from... These ones are actually from Clark's. Um, super comfy. Super comfy. Great yeah. colour. And also to note, I guess these jeans again are slightly bordering on too short for me but with these um boots it fills in that area doesn't it yeah, yeah. because the boots are quite slim they're chunky but they're slim at the ankle still so i think they still work with lots which of is what you're looking for you don't want like a boot those. where you're going to show the ankle and that be really thick around the ankle bit because we need this still to look slender especially if we're going quite curvy on top here as well uh, yeah, another good find. Let's try another pair. Yeah. Okay, so she's got me in the colour shoes, which are the most comfortable trainers. If you've got bunny ends or you just got wide feet, they are really, really gorgeous. And I think showing a little bit of ankle on myself with a cut like this works quite well because you can see the slimmer part of me. Where you've got the one with a chunky boot, which I still can see the slimmer part of my ankle because the boot's quite narrow there. They're a great colour, they go with everything. Yeah, They're the tonal is really nice. So mud. And yeah, I quite like this tonal colour at all anyway, but I like it. just feels it's really quite chic. Yeah. yeah, casually. It almost feels quite effortless yes. when you put your tones together like this, doesn't it? Especially in the winter. Yeah. A lot of people will say over comments. Well, I wouldn't wear white jeans or cream jeans because it's raining outside, but I think you I just know, feel a little lovely. bit lifted yes. in the winter. It's less heavy and for my skin exactly. tone, it's better. That's another one done. We'll get another one off the round now. What have we got on? So these ones are from Mango. They're that straight leg that's on trend right now, but they're, they've got this lovely split, which kind of opens out into a little flare and it makes them really easy to style with with footwear, with trainers like Melissa's got on today, or with a boot. I mean, they are really versatile between the two, aren't they? They are really, yeah. yeah. Where um, often when you have like a wide leg, you can't pair it with a nicer, finer boot, can you? It just kind of looks a little bit wrong. It's where, really tricky. Yeah, where this seems to work well with both. The colour I think was good on these. The colour's really good. Um, I should mention that the length that is slightly short on, on myself probably would be better um, maybe with a trainer like this. But just to show you that you you know they do look really good with the boots as well. Definitely. These are described on the website website as a low rise. L low rise, yeah. So yeah. if I if I show you where they're coming to on me, they're about yes. there. Flashy tummy. There we go. Let it out. <laughs> Let it all out. <laughs> but actually, a low, I wouldn't wear a low rise. And no. for me, these are not low rise. They're kind of a mid to high. I still feel like I'm held in here. They yeah, feel me too. They're comfortable. They're nice and high at the back. Yeah, and they fit um, nicely at the back of that bit as yes, well. Yes, they're not gaping. No. Which is Where often, good. I don't, because, because we're a little bit hiccupier, we both have that same problem yeah. don't we where they gape at the back but they actually feel really comfy i noticed how soft they were when i just put them on yeah, yeah. which is also i think something nice to look for in a wide leg or a flare it has that bit of drape so it hangs nice so yeah we we rate these jeans yes yeah, that's really ones. comfy just yep. a little bit of stretch not too much yep. um yeah great let's, jeans let's try the next pair on right okay so we have just done something with these jeans just to prove to you how they fit somebody who has got a larger tummy area. So I'm wearing them just normally. They're from Oliver Bonas. Um, just a really nice, relaxed, casual look. But there is a lot of space in and around this frontal, front pubic area as well as the waist. Guess what's made an appearance? It is the famous tummy. Okay, now I know before um, none of you took offence, so we're doing this for educational purposes, but what we wanted to show you, so basically Claire is wearing kind of like a pregnancy type of stomach suit here, and so that must be adding on a couple of sizes at least around her tummy area, and yeah. we think they do a fantastic job of actually disguising that still feel really comfortable really comfortable yeah i mean for me these are almost like a denim jogger yes um and then i you know i think sometimes if you've had a bit of a tummy you might avoid the tie but actually yeah. 
it almost acts as a little bit of a kind of waist um, emphasis. I think so yeah. too, yeah. as well. I often put ties on people with big tummies all the time because um, it's just that distraction that you need, especially yeah. when you turn to the side. And this kind of seaming as well, I think is quite flattering. Yeah, very flattering. And the taped um, bottoms as well, because they're going to show off the ankle area, are also really flattering. So a really good choice if you're carrying that little extra weight around your tummy. So there you go from the side as well. So obviously you're going to see a little bit of the board, but it's definitely not as much. Yeah, a good one if you're carrying weight around your tummy or you just want more of a jogger relaxer. Okay, so this is Joe, everybody. Poor Joe. <laughs> Poor Joe is sitting in the background. She's my lovely styling assistant. She didn't mean to be on camera, but not planned. Not <laughs> planned. But she's just made the mistake of telling us that she has got the Marks and Spencers boyfriend jean on, and that's exactly what Claire is wearing as well. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have them in my size, so we thought perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this was just fate waiting yes. to happen. Yeah. Um, so here you've got a size 14 in them, ripped as you can see, versus a tiny, tiny little size. Are you a six in them? It's a six. A yes. six. Where the these are the shorter length because I just didn't want the turn up at the bottom. Oh, um, you've actually bought a I've shorter length. I've actually bought the short. Yeah, so they would finish at the right place. And these didn't come if I didn't up. turn them. They, they come turned up. Oh, the did style. they? They must do different styles. So there's a little tip there. So I wouldn't have bought you a size short at yeah. all. In finishing that in ankle position, they're going to make Claire overall look a lot more slender, especially when she's got a tight boot showing like that or her ankle is showing. So at five foot seven, she's buying a short for a Marks and Spencers. So Good tip for you there. <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> okay, but you're still only in a regular. Yeah, and how tall are you? I'm five foot six. Five foot six. And you're five foot seven. Well, uh, these are quite chunky. Right. Okay. Yeah, because it looks like quite big. Maybe I'm shrinking. Okay, so there you can see the difference in the two sizes. But generally speaking, what are we thinking about the jeans, girls? Love them. I really like yeah. them. And I love them on Joe. I like this dark wash with the kind of turn up hem as well. Yeah. I and they look like they just got a bit of interest to them, but really easy to wear. Yeah, in fact, when Joe came in today, I don't think you knew we were doing a jeans video, did no, you? No. And I instantly said to Joe, they look really flattering on you because Joe has got such a slender frame that when she does wear a skinny jean, she's in danger of looking very small, aren't you? Sort of. A little bit more straight up and straight down where this gives her the curves and I know often on my body shape masterclasses I tend to do more people with lumps and bumps but as Jo will tell you she has just as many struggles being so small um, and trying to create those curves that the jeans here are doing all the work for and she looks really lovely in them. Thank you Jo you can go back to Thank work. Thank you very much. <laughs> Right, okay, so now we are in a... This is the Mango Straight Leg. It is intentional that I have got two different shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> because as you can see, if you look at us, sort of, we stand quite straight. When I've got a trainer that comes all the way up the front of my foot, and the jean is that, that dodgy length that isn't either long or doesn't show the ankle. The way I could get this type of jean to work is by putting on a shoe that is going to show the whole of the front of my foot because that is going to gain me an extra couple of inches where Claire being naturally taller anyway they are coming at that perfect length for her and look really nice and very flattering. Yeah, these are really comfy. Yes. The only thing I would say is that they're, and I've got this gaping uh, hole at the back where I do often have that on jeans though because my hips are bigger ratio than my waist um yeah really. so if so maybe quite good actually if you're carrying a little bit of weight around your tummy because yeah. they've obviously got yeah, that because, and i think if um, you are an apple shape and you're trying to make that tummy area look a little bit smaller um, the greater width down your ankles is going to help that because you're not going to look really tiny in the legs and then bigger around the stomach so it's going to even you out and put you back into that hourglass shape that we are looking for. So, I mean the other thing you could do is just whip your hem off and cut it off and then you know uh, be a little bit shorter and, and you that can wear them. <laughs> 
And that's why she's my senior stylist. Because I I forgot that mine a little yes, point you there. Would, you would thank, you, thank you, Claire. Yeah, that's why I rely on her so much. So all you would do is you snip it off. Why did I think about that? But some people, I guess, don't feel brave enough to do that. So yes. Start with a little bit and then, you know, and then go a little bit more. Yeah. When it's the raw hem like that, you've got nothing to lose. Just cut a little bit off. And as long as you're showing the thinnest part of your ankle, that's the right length for you. So mango jeans, they're usually quite inexpensive, around £30, something on those lines. Yeah. And a really good staple, particularly if you're tall, like Claire. And if you're not, like Claire said, just snip the bottoms off them. Snip it off. <laughs> Okay, so these next ones are from Bowden. Yep. Really comfortable. Another straight leg crop. A lot of the straight legs have been cropped actually, but yes. they're just much easier with footwear. I find that they go easily with trainers, loafers, boots, um, so Every, just easier to everything, style. Everything really. I always yeah. buy cropped for majority of clients, unless I've got a flared or a long wide leg, yeah. then I'll always go cropped. So. That's a good tip to take away with you. Um, I think these feel really lovely. They do feel good, I don't can feel they? the quality. Yeah. They're a little bit, not not quite on the same lines as the Me and M ones, but they're definitely a better quality than Mango Zara type of thing. I think so, yeah. They yeah. kind of feel like they're going to hold you in Hold you well. all in, yes. And these ones are yeah. quite high on the rise. I don't yep. know where they are on you, but these are kind of yeah, no, they're, really good high rise. Yeah, they're high me. rise on me as well. I probably would yeah. snip the bottoms off mine again but as a comparison to the straight legged ones from mango that we just showed you so i think the difference is that i'd imagine they were probably 100 percent cotton the they mango were, ones yes yeah. yeah where these ones are definitely feel like they've got some stretching yeah and so the more stretching the more comfortable but you don't want too much stretch because then you're going to lose the shape so what would you say proportion wise claire's an expert on fabric <laughs> <laughs> well normally i kind of tend to look you know, about 3% really. I don't want to go much over that. But okay, then... so some of the redone ones have a little bit more like that. But I think if you're yeah. playing it safe, probably 3% stretching is probably good enough to give a good level of comfort, but also to keep some shape and structure as well. As you can see, Claire has got them on with the loafer to show the ankles, but for those of you who feel the chill or are in different climate, then we just fill that ankle with a tight ankle boot of some sort, and then you're sorted. Okay, so back again with a black jean on, but we've actually got two different jeans on. You're wearing the... So these are the vintage slim jeans, and these are actually from H&M, and these are the ones with the split at the leg. I think they do lots of different washes, so if you don't like the rip, you don't need to have it. They're kind um, of like a classic jean that we go to quite a lot in yeah, style for a really nice. inexpensive jean that fits a lot of people. Yeah, very easy going, um, easy to style up and down. And I quite like these ones because I quite like having this kind of straighter leg, uh, the high waist. These are, I have actually sized up, so I'm wearing a UK 16. Um, I don't think I'd get in a UK 14 in the H&M jeans. And I can tell style. you she's definitely not a UK 16 um, normally. Yeah, so... Again, I ignore sizes and yes. just, you know, use it as a bit of a guide, obviously, if you're buying online, but... Um, don't, don't worry really... about going up or down yeah, to get that I think right fit on feels you. feels comfortable, and these Definitely. feel much more comfortable on me. And... Styling-wise, it's a really nice way to do relaxed sort of glamour. Yeah. Because you've got the, the ripped jean here giving the more laid-back look and the t-shirt but when we elevate the look using the lovely madura jewelry and the nice blazer here from h&m and the more pointed shoe then the combination of relaxed and elevated pieces make for this relaxed glamour type yeah of yeah look. feels quite easy going yeah feels really easy i've also got the um oh the, the elastic bands elastic... but they are actually hair bands they are very small said so they look like they're not going to fit you yeah. but actually i put i wear them over a winter jumper and everything there yeah. is lots of gear i'm not going to lie though i have been out and about and i've heard a ping oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, you know, if you've got 500. If you've got 500, <laughs> you can afford to put a couple of spares in your pocket. So generally speaking, for a pound, they're a really, really good solution. So my jeans, however, are from Reese. They have got the buttons on the outside, which is, I find when you've got the buttons on the outside, I feel like they really flatten. I do, yeah, my tummy like area. Button. Yeah, Fly, yeah, yeah, really, really nice. Amazing. Wearing them a French, Parisian, Cezanne type of way, which with a relaxed little heeled boot. These ones have sold out, but we have found you some alternatives. But if I just take off my boot, the reason why these ones are fitting me so well is you can see they're at that perfect length on my ankle, where when I tried these ones on, their standard length was just far too long on my five foot three and a bit frame. So we thought we'd try and find an alternative and these ones from Reese were it. And they're really, really comfortable. They feel really nice quality as well, but obviously they are a higher price point than the H&M ones. Oh, right, Mo Monty's just made an appearance at exactly the wrong time when we were about to say thank you very much for watching today. It's lovely that you can all get to meet Claire. Claire is available online to book. Claire and I work very closely with each other every single day. So even if you're not talking directly to me, I will be in the background anyway. Anyway, but not that you need it. She's got more experience than me. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> that's only because you're not as old as me. That's all. If you could press that subscribe button, we'd be very grateful. And we will see you again next week. Thanks for watching. Oh, thank you. Bye.